Lloyd. LD, go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And liftoff of Falcon's first East Coast Polar Launch, Ola Argentina. We're now 40 seconds in the flight. Falcon 9 has taken off. It's cleared the tower, and we're currently throttling down to prepare for maximum Q. Uh, that's the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's at 1 minute 12 seconds. Vehicle is supersonic. vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard it. We've reached uh, max Q. At this point, the loads in the vehicle become less and less as the atmosphere gets thinner. We're now able to throttle those vehicle Merlin engines key. back up. And uh, at its maximum power, like right now, the vehicle consumes started. more than 700 gallons of fuel per second. Um, all is looking good with our first stage's trajectory. Uh, the next couple events, uh, there are five events, one after another. First, our main engine cuts off uh, on our first stage. The stages will separate. Uh, our first stage will then flip around to uh, begin its landing attempt. Uh, the second stage's uh, Merlin vacuum engine will ignite for second engine start one. The first stage's boost back burn will start. It's one of three burns to help us land. Uh, they occur one after another in about 15 seconds. This is that first polar orbit. Uh, if, if the clouds, if you can see through the clouds here, it's, you'll, see some, you'll see some unique views that you haven't seen from Falcon 9 over Florida. And we have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And ignition. All right, all of those events happen successfully one after another. This Stay boost back burn, uh, it'll last about 40 seconds. As so you see it on the left hand side of the screen, on the right hand side, you will see our uh, second stage uh, carrying those three uh, satellites to orbit. And coming up next in about 20 seconds, uh, that boost, burn, boost back burn will end, and then we'll have our fairing deployment. Stage one, boost back, shut down. All right, one of those uh, first landing burn, uh, the boost back burns uh, has successfully ended. Our two fairing halves will now jettison to expose uh, the satellites to space.
see the first stage is already being a turnaround, and you can see the uh, nitrogen from our attitude control system helping guide it back. Fairing separation confirmed. There, you see our two I fairing halves signal, have, have jettisoned. Uh, you can even see them in, in the background there on our m back engine, and you can see them from land, too. Uh, it'll take us some time to get those uh, to come back down. We'll keep you posted on the update. Stage one entry burn startup. And three Merlin engines have relit and are currently slowing the first stage down before it hits those dense parts of the atmosphere. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Stage one transonic. You can see the cape getting closer and closer. Uh, what a cool view. It's, the first stage is passing through the cloud layers right now. Stage one landing burn startup. And here comes Falcon 9 attempting its fourth landing. Stage one landing leg deploy. And you could not ask Stage for a landing better burn. landing than that. Falcon 9 has landed once again. That is number four for this first stage booster and the 58th overall of an orbital class rocket. What a way to start off tonight's mission. Uh, the second stage and our primary mission are still continuing and uh, remain healthy. Uh, the next milestone for the second stage is second engine cutoff one, also known as SECO one, and that is coming up at T plus 10 minutes and five seconds. And the second stage Merlin vacuum engine has successfully had Seco 1. Nominal orbit insertion. And that is the other call out we were waiting to hear on uh, a good orbital insertion. In just about three minutes, we will have the first of our three deployments. Until then, we are going to take a short break and be back around the T-plus 13-minute mark for the deployment of the SALCOM 1B satellite.
Solcom separation confirmed. All right, you've seen it, we heard it. Uh, successful deployment of that Salcom 1B satellite. And as a reminder, this satellite and Salcom 1A satellite's goal is to gather soil moisture. It helps increase uh, the productivity and competitiveness of the agriculture sector. Um, it generates.